So we call these participle adjectives. A verb plus ed or a verb plus ing is called participle adjectives. The adjectives with ed are used to describe a person or how a person feels. Like I say, I am disgusted, she is challenged, he is confused, he is bored, my mother is interested. But ing adjectives are used to talk about a situation or a person or a thing which has caused the feeling. So the situation causes the feeling. Um, ing adjectives, how I feel, ed adjectives. Uh, like we can say, a person is bored or a person is boring. A person is bored. Another situation has caused this feeling. When I say a person is boring, means this person makes me bored. All right. The flight was long and boring, so I was bored. How I feel, the cause of feeling. The flight is the cause of feeling. Boring, I was bored. The accident was shocking, so I was shocked. The accident was shocking, I was shocked. The news was surprising, the news was surprising, so everybody was surprised. How everybody feels, the cause of Feeling was the news. Our boss is an interesting person, so we are all interested in him. And finally, the TV show was exciting. The TV show was exciting, so we were excited. How we feel, the cause of the feeling. Repeat, please. The flight was long and boring, so I was bored. The flight was long and boring, so I was bored. The accident was shocking, so I was shocked. The accident was shocking, so I was shocked. The news was surprising, so everybody was surprised. The news was surprising, so everybody was surprised. Our boss is an interesting person, so we are all interested in him. The TV show was exciting, so we were excited. Okay, this is it. I am challenged by something, my feeling, how we feel, how a person feels, or something is challenging. X is uh, the cause of actually our reaction, our feeling. Something is challenging. The math problem is challenging. I am challenged by, I am challenged by the math problem. Also, we can use challenge as a verb. We say something challenges me. Something challenges me. The math problem challenges me. I am challenged by the math problem. The math problem is challenging. These two adjectives, participle adjectives. The first one is a verb. Something challenges me. Something disgusts me. Something excites me. Examples. This book interests me. Verb. This book interests me. This book is interesting. Participle adjective. The cause of feeling. I am interested in this book. I am interested in this book. Participle adjectives, verb. Horror movies frighten me. Horror movies frighten me, verb. Horror movies are frightening. ING participle adjectives. I am frightened by horror movies. Participle adjectives with ED. Traveling relaxes me. Traveling relaxes me. Traveling is relaxing, adjective. I am relaxed by traveling. So we can use these feelings as a verb or participle adjectives. If you're talking about how a person feels, ed. If you're talking about the cause of the feeling, ing. Rainy weather depresses me, verb. 
Rainy weather depresses me. Rainy weather is depressing. Rainy weather is depressing. I am depressed by rainy weather. I am depressed by rainy weather. The first one verb, the two other ones adjectives, participle adjectives. Now, I'm going to give you some time to pause the video. Use either the verb participle adjective with ing or ed to translate these sentences. In film hayajanangize, do we need a verb or an adjective? Which one? Man az zidan in film hayajan zade misham. In film man hayajan zade mikone. In film dare man hayajan zade mikone. Do we need a verb or adjective? In film diruz man hayajan zade kard and the last one in film diruz dash man hayajan zade mikard. Go ahead. The first one says in film hayajan angize. Safat niyaz dari. But which one? With the ed or the ing? The movie is exciting or this movie is exciting or watching this movie is exciting. Number two, man az zidan in film hayajan zade misham. Again, we need an adjective. But which one? I am excited. Participle adjective with ed. I am excited by watching this movie. I am excited by watching this movie. Number three says, In film man ha hayajan zade mikone. Inja qat'an be fil niyaz dari. Na adjective. So how do we say that? This movie excites me. This movie excites me. The yellow, the yellow ones are all verbs. این فیلم داره منو هیجان زده میکنه. دوباره فعل لازم داریم ولی تو چه زمانی چه زمانی داریم صحبت میکنیم؟ همین الان این فیلم داره منو هیجان زده میکنه. Very good. Simple. Uh, sorry. Present continuous. This movie is exciting me. این exciting با اون exciting بالا فرق میکنه به این نکته توجه کنید. بالایی صفت participle adjectives ولی چهارمی verb هستش, هستش This movie is exciting me ING که اینجا دادیم به خاطر اینکه داریم uh, present continuous استفاده میکنیم uh, Number five این فیلم دیروز منو هیجان زده کرد دوباره فعل لازم داریم ولی تو چه زمانی؟ دیروز منو هیجان زده کرد توی نقطه ای از زمان Simple past This movie excited me yesterday Again این excited با اون excited فرق میکنه. Number two, adjective. I am excited by this movie. با adjective ما همیشه فعل uh, to be لازم داریم. The movie excited me yesterday. و شماره آخر. این فیلم دیروز داشت من رو هیجان زده میکرد. داریم راجع به uh, یه duration uh, از گذشته صحبت میکنیم. دیروز داشت من رو هیجان زده میکرد. Past continuous. This movie was exciting me yesterday this movie was exciting me yesterday repeat please this movie is exciting i am excited by watching this movie this movie excites me this movie is exciting me this movie excited me yesterday This movie was exciting me yesterday. Okay, this is it. Now we're going to listen to a conversation. I want you to write the sentences with participle adjectives. Listen, please. Conversation around the campfire. And that's what was on the floor. Yuck. That story was disgusting. Well, listen to this. I was watching a movie at home one night when I heard a strange noise outside the window. What did you do? I was really frightened. I was watching a horror movie and I was sitting in the dark. Anyway, I walked to the window, opened the curtains, and saw a face. No way. That's frightening. Not really. It was just my roommate. Your roommate? Yeah. Unfortunately, he lost his key and couldn't get in the house. He was really embarrassed. Okay. 
Uh, the first one, they are actually camping. The first one says this story was disgusting. They're sharing this their stories with each other. One of them says that story was disgusting. The other says I was really frightened because he heard some noise. I was really frightened. That's frightening. And he was really embarrassed. His friend, when he actually uh, made the noise, he was really embarrassed when he found out that uh, he scared his friend. I'll listen one more time. I'll repeat after each sentence. Conversation around the campfire. And that's what was on the floor. Yuck! That story was disgusting. Well, listen to this. I was watching a movie at home one night when I heard a strange noise outside the window. What did you do? I was really frightened. I was watching a horror movie, and I was sitting in the dark. Anyway, I walked to the window, opened the curtains, and saw a face. No way! That's frightening. Not really. It was just my roommate. Your roommate? Yeah. Unfortunately, he lost his key and couldn't get in the house. He was really embarrassed. Now it's your turn to make a conversation. You're sharing your stories with your friends about an exciting, frightening, or shocking experience. All right, it's, it's your call. Use participle adjectives. 